What's up guys on YouTube today? How are you guys today? Well, I want to demonstrate to you guys today and show you guys today on how to hook up a external hard drive to your laptop computer. By the way, I have two different types of hard drives. I have a original digital 250 gigabyte drive with USB 2.0. I have a Seagate drive 500 gigabyte with USB 3 uh, technology as well. I am using the HP Pavilion G6 laptop computer running Windows 7. By the way, these drives are all compatible with Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, and also Mac as well. Uh, these drives are a good idea for storage and also backup for your uh, computer. But the biggest problem is these drives are just not big enough for the stuff I have on my computer. By the way, I store my uh, blogs on a 2 terabyte Western Digital hard drive with an external hard drive case desktop hard drive. I also have my music, my pictures, my movies, my books, everything on my computer I like to store onto a known hard drive. But remember, you gotta make sure you back up your computer because you don't back the computer up here, guys. Your computer is going to have some a lot of issues. It's going to have a lot of uh, conflict of issues of files being transferred to a known hard drive. I've been having a lot of issues with my laptop for the past two years. I bought this two years ago. Um, it's been having this uh, issue of want to random shut down or random trashing and files missing and guess what guys I'm very sad now because I had all of my pictures on my SS or my SD card I wanted to transfer them on my computer when I was transferred to my computer my computer wiped out my card or my SSD on my uh, memory card it's like I'm sad I don't know but right now, I want to compare these two uh, hard drives, the Western Digital and Seagate drive with two different types of interfaces of USB. By the way, the new hard drive is compatible with USB 2.0. Let's go ahead and show you guys some of the hardware and the interfaces of these hard drives have. This is my old my book passport hard drive which from the original USB 2.0. It's a very nice slim model. Very glossy. It's also very scratchy. <laughs> Can scratch it very easily. Um, here is a known hard drive. This is the Seagate 500 GB drive. Very thin. And here is the USB 3.0 uh, connector as well, compatible with USB 2.0. Let's go ahead and show you some of the packaging. Here is the external hard drive, a Seagate 500 gigabyte hard drive case box. And here is my passport box, 250 gigabyte uh, USB. 2.0 and here is my desktop hard drive 2 terabyte Western Digital uh, drive I'm using this for my blogs this is my backup right here and also the case I'm using is this case for the 2 terabyte drive the problem is with the small drives is that this not Big enough for what I am using it for. By the way, I'm going to show you some of the interfaces of the cables. Here is one of the interfaces. This is the USB 3.0 on that side. And this is the uh, USB 2.0. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and just move the Western Digital hard drive off to the side. 
and we're going to plug the uh, hard drive in to the USB 2.0. By the way, the USB uh, 3.0 uh, cable is a lot faster than the USB 2.0. You get with the USB 2.0, you get uh, rate speeds of 400, 480 rate speed, and with the uh, USB uh, 3, you get 5 uh, gigabytes per second with using a USB 3. And by the way, this is compatible with all operating systems. I'm going to demonstrate you guys on how to take just a picture file from your computer. I'm just going to take one of my random pictures from my computer. So now what it is, is I'm just going to take the least amount of photos from my old oh, drive. Like, I'm going to copy this one, right? I'm going to hit the copy button and I'm going to copy this one directly to the own hard drive, to this hard drive, and we're just going to hit the paste button, and I hope she's going to do something, if it, was, if it already did something here, if it already copied the file, hey look at that, hey, the file was already on there guys, awesome, see how fast that was guys, but this is also compliance with uh, USB 2 and also USB 3 compatible. Now by using the same exact but a different hard drive, I'm going to do that same exact picture file with this hard drive. And I'm going to plug the USB 2.0 into this Dutch and Legion hard drive. And I'm just going to plug it into the uh, computer over on the on side of my uh, computer like this and we wait when this one kind of picks up the speed though because it takes a while for the computer to read my whole drive well I've been having a lot of issues with this uh, computer guys it's not just not funny at all now I have a lot of on uh, things on this drive as well that's like on the random backups and the random, so random files on this one too. Let's go ahead and do that same file. I'll go to the Seagate drive and go ahead and copy this one and into the on whole drive this queue. But I am just showing you guys on how it's going to work and perform. What? Kidding me, guys? Hold on. Apparently, I didn't. I think I copied it, right? I hope I did. Okay. Copy. And you should be able to paste it. Ah, there we go. Paste. And look at that. It does. Went down to the odd side, and there's that same photo. With those same exact files on an on hard drive, and that's on that hard drive. Awesome! I like it. Uh, I'm just showing you guys on the USB uh, compliance and compatibility of the hard drive. Now, let's safely remove the uh, hard drives here, guys. I want to talk more about the uh, USB uh, technology. Let's disconnect uh, the that one. Okay, we disconnected that one. Safely remove. Let's also disconnect the Seagate drive. Takes a while for it to do here. Hold on, guys. Alright. Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. We eject that one. And what's really nice about the USB uh, 3 and USB 2 is this is compatible with USB uh, uh, two devices as well. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and bring these drives back to you guys and show you what the interface is looking like. There's that interface with USB 
3.0 and there's the interface with using USB 2.0 and by having two types of cables you will have two different types of cables are going to look completely different. Awesome, I like it. Alright uh, guys, this was a quickly uh, demonstration about uh, USB 3 versus USB 2. If you're brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. I will get more into depth on using USB 2 and USB 3 in a non blog. By the way, give this video a thumbs up. And alright guys, peace out. Bye guys, see you in the next vlog.